Yeah. Alright. Let's get this started. I'm going for episode 2 of Super Paper Mario. For our let's play. So let's just get... Keep in mind, um, I think we're gonna do this daily. Yeah, I just hold that with the other hand. I just feel... Yes. Yeah. Alright, because that recording angle was amazing last video. I know. So, um, so now let's head back to Merlin. And let's go on. Again, it's gonna be a long, long episode. Yeah, it's gonna be... Well, it... So... I don't know how long that's gonna be. So, previously, we... Um, were sent to Flipside because of an, an interdimensional order. So now, we're gonna go to World 1, Lineland Road. This is one of the many people you can... Black! <laughs> Black! The poison ripped in the dimensional fabric. Yes, Count Blackus, please. All is gone as foretold in dark production. Now it's just a matter of time until all walls meet their demise. Black. Wow, that's just super count. Yeah, first you'll raise all those naughty worlds. Oh, that's not O Trunks, by the way. It's a character or a minion I do not like at all. And then you're gonna build a perfect world without war and all that other icky stuff. Yes, yes, no one likes the icky stuff. Yes, the perfect world. Sounds magical. Now, now, now when I first played this game, I thought Dementia was a girl. Yeah. yeah. I thought Dementia was a girl, and then I found out later that Dementia was a boy. All that time wasted, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I could hardly stand the wait. Sorry I'm late. See, that's O-Chunks. What, play some ball grass? How'd I be myself here? What's going on? Mm. Oh, Chunks, you big silly. Did you ever sleep or something? God, I... Oh, well, I guess it's kind of hard to be on time, though, when you got muscles instead of brains. Oh! They are roasting in an arena game! Hey! You can't fool me with that crazy ship shape and fool agree. It's mini, ain't it? Show a little respect for the cat. You can't go a bar in his face, lass. <laughs> How delightful, Mimi. Also is dapper. As Count Black. Aw, oh, golly, thanks, Count. With you and I, it's nothing but big smiles all the time. Hanging out with the Count. That's my idea of a perfect world of part. And here I thought Mimi's ideal world was a jump pool pool with honky lifeguards. Hey, Dementia, have you been reading my diary? Oh, I mean, no, never mind. <laughs> well, different strokes from different minions. After these rotten worlds are ended, Count Black will make all your dreams come true. But for that to happen, we must follow the instructions of the Dark Forgottenness. Yeah, about it. Just an FYI, I got an urgent memo for your inbox. Can you zoom out if you haven't? I guess we can get everything in there. Apparently, there's been some unapproved interdimensional activity lately. Yeah. I think it's the hero of the prophecy. We're gonna need an action plan for this guy. A dimensional interloper and possibly the hero. You are sure of it, Natasha? Interesting news, Count Black. We must put an end to this nuisance. Count Black! Let me get this right in my brain. The arrow and Nastra is going about he's your enemy. Then you gotta come and lose it on him. You gotta! I'll give him a nice taste. Oh, Chunks! Very well, oh, Chunks. I'll leave the hero choking <sighs> you. Do not fail, Count Black. You can't count on me, Count. I'll rain down like a fat thunderstorm, I swear. Mimi! Dementio, you should tag along. Yeah, you can witness a proper chunking. Hmm, I do enjoy a good chunking. Well then, I believe I'll head out as well. <laughs> so, hero, you would defy Count Black? Then hurry, for your world end draws near. <laughs> Black! Mario is called upon once again to save the world. No small task. Could he prevent Count Black from pulling off a sinister plot? Would Mario reunite with Princess Peach? A truly interdimensional adventure will already begin. Chapter 1 1 The Adventure Unfolds. I feel the pure heart, but it's still far from here. Marlin told his divine friend Bestovius known that dimensional technique. Better go find him. 
Oh, if you skip any dialogue, you can press up to, uh, you know, read the dialogue. That's awesome. One more thing. If you want to learn about anything, just use my powers. I know many things. Simply point your remote the screen to you focus on what you point. Then just press A over anything in red to hear more about it. Feel free to ask Kitty about anything or anyone you want. At least this won't go into a turn combat like other Ma even Mario games, you know? This is the mushroom. Grab it to use your power HP. Stomp on everything. You can see. This is not an empty house. There's something in this room. I can feel it. I can help you find it and explore it and use my powers to look around. There's a hidden door here. Let me make it visible for you. It's a door. Let's go inside. Hmm? What is this meager mustache that stands before me? And how does it have the austerity to address my multicolored glory? How did these flimsy whiskers attack my secret door? Wait right there, red shirt, conspicuous white gloves, jaunty cap. Ha! You are garbed in the rich clothing of the hero of prophecy. You must be the great hero. Impersonator! No, we're not an impersonator, my friend. What a costume! You look like you leaped out of the pages of the Forgottenness. This is Mario. He's dressed like this because he is the hero. Merlin told us to find you. Merlin only is full bodied via rivals and hairy magnificence. If Merlin thinks you are the true hero, you probably are, I think. Well then, as the ancient prophecy foretells, I bestow so most bestow you on the ancient secrets of dimensional flipping. For a nominal fee of whoa, ten thousand coins? Bruh, I'm not rich, but I'm sure that's a little out of my price range. That's for stars for it. You can't charge the hero of the prophecy. Why not? Even the great and splendid things for so a certain expenditures. Why should the hero get the world delivered to him on a well garnished platter? The hero. Alright, these heroes think they can get away with shaking people down for free skills. A mere 10,000 looks nothing for a hero of the universe. What do you say? I don't have that money, I'm sorry. I see. Sylvia, I will settle for just taking all the coins in your pocket. Do we have a deal? Silly, let's begin. I only have five coins. Limbity flabbity boom, dimity dimity dum, zippity jabbity zoom. Shaboom! Flappa! I bestow this of great feasibility to flip between dimensions. Press A to slip between the very fabric of space and flip between 2D and 3D. Also, this game breaks the fourth wall a lot. Trust me. Wait, it really does? There, look. Wait, point at the screen. You'll see. Well, what do you think? Mind blowing, isn't it? What is this A I speak of? Ready? I assure you that if we are being watched from another dimension, hint, hint, those beings will understand that you lack the mustache for cult full comprehension. Just remember that you can use this ability to find hidden items and secret paths. But beware, your new ability will use your new ability so long and you will lose HP. That is the cost for flipping. You must make sure that you can flip back and it will recharge. Alright, let's go use our new ability. As you can see, we're back down to zero coins because we paid the stove to learn that dimensional technique. So, where do you think we can first learn our dimensional technique, huh? So now, um, just press A and we can flip between dimensions. So we flip wow. 3D. Flip between 2D and 3D to get the tricky situation and find secrets. While you're flipping, the flip god never left will start to drop. If your flip god runs out, you start to take damage. So flip back before then. Flip back in the 2D to build up your flip god again. That's what that's what I was saying earlier. So make sure that you have that covered. Defeat enemies to earn points. When you earn enough points, you level up and increase your HP and attack power. Press plus to go in the menu and see how many points you need. That is also a thing that you must use. 
Glass. Don't you just love that? Oh yeah, it's always fun. Oh, also this is a ca Goomba card. If you click an enemy's cash card, you boost the damage you do to it. The more cards, the better. You can boost your power by double, triple, or more. Alright, we cannot see that Goomba back there. But now, okay. Ow. Like I said, they boosted the damage they did to an enemy. Also, if you want to know what that enemy was, it is a squiglet. It's a small little creature that doesn't have as many legs. Max HP is two and attack is one. There isn't much to say about squiglet. When it spots it, it gets in and hops up and down. Alright. Alright, there's a coin box right there. Okay, that's it. Oh yes, um, that is a, instead of a fire flower, this is heavy flower. Little wild flowers are coins, we're wearing them. If you need money, I suggest you need it. So, I suggest you pick up this flower whenever you see it. Well, hopefully see it. Now you may be saying, that's the end of the world? Is that it? No, that's what we got the flip ability for. You can see, for not only flip, for stuff you can get around in 2D, but you can flip around, see those? The mountains back there. That's your secret path. Alright. Alright, this is a different type of squiglet. It's a squig. Think of these creatures as tougher squiglets. Max HP is four and pack is one. They have a nasty habit of spitting rocks. Thankfully, the rocks are slow and easy to avoid. Watch. See? Okay, new enemy, again. It's a sporing moing. For some reason, the creature slip lives to hop endlessly. Match your cheese four. And in fact, if you hurt it, it'll split into many, many scrolls. I wonder if breaking up is hard to do, even for these creatures. But if you can do enough damage in one hit, you can beat them before they split. Well, that failed. Alright, anyway. Alright. Press and hold 2 when you're on a jump board to that guy. Jump extra high. Dang, I am just crushing enemies. I'm gaining health in the process. Alright, flip again. Whoa! Score! Get the ball! Come on! Level up, yes. Now we are level 2. Oh yeah, whenever you level up, your flip gauge will re replenish. Or when you take damage. Oh. Normally I just go around them. Okay, let's flip back for a minute. Wait for our flip gauge to refill a bit. Doesn't take long, hold on. Alright, now let's look at the last remaining enemies. Alright. Another spoon. Or something like that. See? Secrets. There are a lot of secrets in this game. That's what the entire game is pretty much about at this point. Dang it, come on! I'm not gonna have my first game over by a swing. That would be so embarrassing. And the most dumbest game over ever. Is that true? Yeah. Probably one of the most dumbest game over. You know what is a dumb game over? When I played Twilight Princess and I I went and I went to pay the shopkeeper, that bird shopkeeper and I accidentally left the store and it kept pecking me until I got a game over. That's a stupid game over. Alright. Anyway, everybody knows these enemies. These are piranha plants. To kill them, I don't exactly know what to do when they're paper form. 
but I don't exactly know. I think you just have to get a different partner. Or a part oh! This is the mega series to do grow mega proportions and trample your enemies. You want level up points? This is your type of an item. What? You know. Favorite <laughs> item in the entire game. Mega? Hey. Yes! <laughs> Boom! Crush all this stuff! No need flipping this! I love it! Level up. Your attack went up by one. I love this! Great, now it's gonna end. Dang it. But that was fun while it lasted. Anyway, that is the first course done, but we're gonna still go. Until she decides to end it. Which will probably end at probably the same time as yesterday. Or longer, because these all, these all keep going. So we gotta... I think I'm gonna finish, I'm, I'm gonna finish the all four in one video. Okay? And so Marty came to learn the stupendous ability of flipping between dimensions. But there's no time to celebrate. Marty's still up here, hard to find. Trailhead was an overrun with savage beasts. Follow me, it could be said, as she flew toward the mountain, but leaned ahead. The pure heart was hidden somewhere on the other side. A foot in the foothills. Wait a minute, um, wait, how many days we're gonna complete? We're gonna finish two each. I feel the PR has gone this mountain, but it's still far, far away. Something tells me I need to pick up new skill gears to use. We're now at Mount Lightlands, so... I wonder how it looks like when you flip it. I can do that. How does it look? Oh my god. Yeah, but go back. Oh my god, I forgot about this one. Why? <laughs> Haven't even started making stuff yet. Oh my god. Ugh. Alright, beyond this door, I think, lies the old town, or at least another area of. This is, this is like the area of Yule, pretty much. Alright, if you activate those blocks in. Okay, you can only climb this in 3D, apparently. Alright, to climb this one, you're gonna need your power of flipping. And go up here, and then the laws of gravity. And 3D. After that point, you can just jump up here. Bye. Now, this course over here is extremely hard to jump over these, and you will take massive damage if you get hit. Oh, uh, look at that guy. Dude, jump. Oh, well, I was almost. Dude, there. jump. I am. It's like... Oh, because they're so big. You are literally about I'm to lose not, your life. I'm not, I'm not taking damage on purpose, I really. Alright, now beyond here is probably Yield Town, yep. Alright, these guys, I love the humor when you ever pick the wrong choice. But I don't intend to pick the wrong choice, I just try to. Oh yeah, look we'll at that. Hold on, I'm gonna zoom it up a little because, um, the, uh, sure? game quality. Oh, I see. They're panicking, and now you can flip, and you will see the guard. Apparently they can flip too. Hey, hey, you can see me! This is unbelievable, I've been freaking out here for days, and finally someone sees me. A couple mornings where I roll out alongside the bed. And once I get my coffee, I realize I'm stuck in the freaky parallel dimension. I've been hollering and playing for days, but nobody can even hear me, or even see me. So I thought I'd think I'd be here forever, I see you. You just flipped in here out of thin air. I was thinking, if you could do that, maybe I could hitch a ride back with you. Just stand next to me, and I'll flip back to 2D. I'll hold on. If you stay up next to him, you'll flip, and he'll flip back to him. Whoa, we did it! I'm back to normal! Listen, you really better out of that. 3D business is freaking me out. 
And name's Red. Nice to meet you. Say, uh, any way I can repay you? Actually, there's one thing. There's a huge chasm outside that we need to cross. So you want to cross the chasm? Well, you found yourself the right guy. But hey, I got a warning. You know this place is called Impasse Pass, right? I'm only allowed to let a choice of you cross the bridge. I need to my job description. I mean, that's why they pay me to stand here. You sure you want to pass? Yeah, well, you did sing for being trapped in a parallel dimension and all. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. Get the right answer and I'll let you pass. So, good, okay, here we go. What's the most manly color in the entire universe? Red or green? Red. Yes, you are so right! I knew it. You and me, we see eye to eye in fashion. I'll throw the bridge down. Just hang on a sec. Now, I tri there's another guy. And if you pick green, he'll be like, Green, you're wearing red, buddy, and he'll kick you out of the house. And then if I pick red, it'll do the same reaction, so I don't know if... Alright, if you're good to go, you take her easy. I don't exactly know if that's something you have to answer yourself. But alright. Alright. Bridge coach, red the bridge master. Alright, this is officially Yule Town. Alright. Let's just buy a couple items. We have money. Good day! How's a house good? I see if I'm a fine shop here in the old town. First time here, huh? I thought, I thought we offer shop points here for our regular customers. You earn shop points with every purchase limit. It's one point for every purchase. Earn enough and you can win a free gift, yeah, free stuff, for free. That's good. Want to know how many points you say just ask me? Got that? Or do you want to hear my smile again? What you need? Alright, so here at this point we can buy stuff that'll help us in the game. So basically, we just buy a lot of shroom shakes, pretty much. You're gonna need a lot of these. Well, well, I don't, I don't wanna buy that. No, I don't want that. Alright, now we can buy a long last shake, which is going to be a little more. Uh, for now, I think that's it. So, um, now, stop some of the locals. Hey, stranger, where'd you blow in from? Okay, that's not really wrong about. You are the legendary hero? You are? My top three players are supposed to pass on you, ready? One, in trouble? Flip. Two, is something suspicious? Flip. Three, feeling saucy? Flip. And there you go. Now you know. It's basically flip for anything, apparently. Alright, let's go inside these houses. Thousands of years, super bad civilization lived in this area. We call them the Tribe of Agents. I guess they built this town, too. The mayor says that there are secret tunnels and rooms that have been built. Look around real closely. You never know what there's a secret around the corner. After this juicing, apparently, the hero knows the secret dimensional technique. Yeah, he uses the flip to really does to find loads of interesting things. These blocks on my right may not look like much now, but if I were to hear out my friends of secret stuff behind them, and when you see coins, you can use the technique to make like. technique to make like more of them. If you see the hero, be sure to tell him I'll give him a try. Yeah, look how long we've been going. I know. Yeah. After this, I'll end it. Well, look at that. No knees. Try to talk to this. Oh, are you sure? They're carrying enough ice for a little Buy more house at Shopping in your town. You can even more than I can do heck around with. Alright, so may not look like much, but if you see a pipe down here, you can flip over the 3D and go right around. And you are gonna need to enter this house. Hi. Okay, uh. Okay, we obviously flip this one. Because there's absolutely no way around that. I tried. Hidden door. I should be able to get somewhere. If you activate Tippy's power again, you can. If you see something, I don't hesitate to investigate. Alrighty. Oh no. Now we're trapped. Oh no, the door. Now we're locked inside. Sweet freedom! 
Wait a moment. If I have been said free ledger here, must have done it. I expressed concern that he didn't stuff me in that chest 1,500 years ago. But it seems I feared for quite a time that the heroes finally arrived. Are you a pixel? Why, yes, I am indeed a pixel. My name is Soul. You are a pixel as well. But you don't look familiar. Are you a newer model? I will, I, um... No matter, details do bore me. What is important is the fact that I have waited ages to win my skills to the hero. And glorious day, here you are, you're that you simply must. We will end smashing. With that, he will lend you a skill. And now the throwing pixel, Thoreau, has joined you. You can pick up and throw objects and enemies. You can even throw while you jump. With me at your side, we'll make grass objects with great that fire. Simply press one to use my throwing ability. Now, what's this one you say? Another fourth wall breaking. You need not worry. The great being that watches us will know what it is. Just remember that I can grasp a bunch of objects and enemies and hurl them with gusto. Grab something with one and press one again to throw it. Why not take a moment to get acquainted with my useful talent? You will need to use my ability to get out of this room. Ready, steady, go! So like that, we can actually throw stuff while pressing one. But now, you can pick stuff up, and what do you do exactly to get out of this room? That. Glorious day! Consider me fully at your disposal now to adventure and beyond. Now I have an official pixel partner with you. So now, not only can we flip, but we also have a pixel partner, Thoru. So once I get out of here, we will end this video. Yeah, because this is pretty dang long. Actually, um, I want to continue going on, if that's okay. No, dude, I think we've gone long enough. Look how long we were. Okay, well, we can go just a little bit longer. So, um, I don't know if I save here. And, well... Yeah, I think you did. So, if I, like, just quit here, I could get back on. Yeah. Uh, I want to test that out real quick. Um, I don't know if I can get a return fight to most places. The trips have to hike back to the spot you used it. Want to turn to flip side? Um, no, I don't want to risk it. But, um, hang on, I want to try, I want to try that real quick. So, um, if I have to hike back to the spot, so be it. So, um, I think we've made some good progress here. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please do a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. See you guys. Alright, I'll see you later.